Are you stuck with a frustrating dependency error while developing your React Native app? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the common issue of dependency resolution errors, specifically the one related to com.atlassian.mobile.video. I totally get how annoying it can be when you're making progress on your app and suddenly an error pops up out of nowhere. It can feel like hitting a brick wall. But don't worry, we're here to tackle this together. Let's take a closer look at the specific issue at hand. One user reported that they encountered a dependency error stating that the project could not find com.lassian.mobile.video, okhttpws-compat. They even tried removing the React Native config module, but the problem persisted with React Native maps. Sound familiar? Let's figure this out. So what could be causing this dependency error? It often happens when a required library is missing or not properly linked in your project. This can be especially tricky with React Native, where dependencies can sometimes get tangled. And stick around, I have a crucial tip at the end that could save you a lot of headaches when managing your dependencies. To address the dependency error, the user should first check their project's build.gradle file. This file is crucial for managing dependencies in a React Native project. Next, the user should ensure that the required dependency for OKHTP WS Compat is included. If it's missing, they can add it manually to the Dependencies section. After updating the Build Gradle file, the user should sync the project with Gradle files. This step is essential to apply the changes made. If the error persists, the user should try clearing the Gradle cache. This can help resolve any lingering issues with dependencies. Finally, the user should rebuild the project to ensure all changes take effect. This can be done through Android Studio or by using the command line. Fun fact! Did you know that the first version of React Native was released in 2015? It has come a long way since then, but dependency issues still seem to haunt developers. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. One user found a solution to the dependency error by specifying specific versions of React and React Native. They recommend using React version 15.4.1 and React Native version 0.42.3. Additionally, this error is tracked on GitHub, which can provide further insights into the issue. That's the end of that answer. Let's see another perspective. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests modifying your build Gradle file. They recommend adding a resolution strategy to ensure that the correct version of React Native is used without manually specifying it. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. Another user faced the same issue and investigated the source code, but couldn't find any references to Atlassian. They turned off their Wi-Fi to check for external resource calls and discovered that the package okhttp ws compat could not be resolved. They found that the package might have been removed from the repository, which is likely causing the dependency error. Now let's dive into a different answer from another user. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests modifying your root build.gradle file. They recommend forcing all dependencies to a specific version to resolve the issue. Here's the tip I promised. Regularly update your dependencies and keep an eye on the change logs. This can help prevent these kinds of issues from cropping up in the first place. And there you have it. With these steps, you should be able to resolve that pesky dependency error. Remember, keeping your dependencies in check is key to a smooth development process. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.